Nava Mao, I've seen you say that the script for Baby Reindeer was the best thing you've ever read. So what what did you recall thinking and feeling as as you were making your way through the script? I mean, I think I probably felt something similar to what a lot of people feel watching the show, which is overcome with emotion and intrigue and and I just could hear and feel Richard's voice so clearly you know when you're reading that script it's kind of like getting to 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 read inside his his diary in a sense um especially with the voiceover so then to see that there's this character of Terry who's a part of the story yeah, in, in such a meaningful way, I, it was just everything you could ever hope for as an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I love the character of Terry and how she's portrayed uh, on the show. And I know you you worked on Disclosure. Um, I talked to Sam Vader uh, back then when it came out. Uh, and that doc examines you know, the stereotypes of trans people uh, on screen and you know, it's been uh, historically uh, negative, like dehumanizing and uh, hateful and limiting, um, you know, kind of like 2D. Uh, but Terry is the complete opposite. And Donnie describes her as smart, funny, confident and strong. Uh, and it's all true. And she is so fleshed out and she's secure. She has a job and is seemingly very fulfilled. So how did it feel for you being able to play a character like her and like how empowering it was it? Uh, to be able to, you know, be part of the show that could shift the, the perception of uh, trans representation on screen. Yeah, I think that people use a lot of hateful words to describe us. Um, whether or not they truly believe it, I think that rhetoric ha has been shaped by hate and stigma uh, when it comes to trans people. And so to see a description of a character like that, which, you know, it's it's kind of simple terms, you know, funny, smart, strong, uh, you know, but it feels affirming to know that, that, that people do see us, you know, trans people for so long, I think we've had to, to fight to be seen as, as even just human. And so, so for our power to be affirmed and for our beauty and intellect and humor to be celebrated, I think is, is, is still such a meaningful push for, for, for the culture. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say uh, Richard uh, in his writing got right uh, of, about like capturing a trans woman? Mm. I mean, he would always talk about how important the banter between mm -hmm. Terry and Johnny was. And and that was something I definitely had to work on, like <laughs> undoing my Southern drawl. I, I just tend to like, I tend to speak very slowly and kind of mm -hmm. lofty. <laughs> and Terry is so sharp. She's so witty. She's she's just, she's quick on her feet and, and, and she, she meets Donnie right where he's at, you know? Um, and and so that felt very real. And um and I think there's there's a lot of trans women like Terry in the world. And um and I I, I tried to to try to actually convey her in, in a very truthful way. Mm -hmm. So so that was like the main difference, just your <laughs> your intonation. <laughs> No, no. I, I think um, I learned a lot about anger. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry is not afraid of her own anger. She's also not afraid of her own needs. You know, she recognizes that she can be entitled to having needs and she can be entitled to having emotions and and that was something that I, I got to learn from her is to allow all of that to course through my body and and be released and that I don't need to be holding back out of fear of, of being too much and uh, being rejected. Terry said, you know, 
okay, handle it. <laughs> and that, that was beautiful to get to learn from a character. Yeah. I really love how she's not afraid to call him out on his BS. Mm -hmm. Not <laughs> afraid at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, and like, but how, I mean, how would you describe their dynamic? Um, obviously there's a lot of trauma that she doesn't know about, but, and, you know, towards the end of the the series, like we understand like why he is the way he is and his, his past uh, abuse. And, you know, he, Donnie is like afraid. He has a lot of shame. He's afraid to be seen. Whereas Terry is definitely not afraid to be seen. Like she's so self-assured. So how would you be with their relationship? Yeah, I, I think that Terry really believes that she can handle it. Um, she's a therapist, you know, I think she has a lot of skills and also Terry wants love, you know, and I think Terry has a deep need for belonging and, and one form of belonging is, is in romantic partnership with somebody. So I think she really has hope that, you know, she, that, that maybe like she can cross that bridge and maybe he can cross that bridge or maybe they can meet in the middle. I think she really wants to give it a shot. And what is so beautiful and heartbreaking and complicated it is that ultimately she realizes when it's time to, to, to kind of close the gates and, and, um, and let him go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love how she, you know, yeah, like she stands up to him and, you know, she refuses to, like, go back in the closet for him, basically. He's like, no. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. just, why would she do that? You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. uh, well, she is based on a, a real person um, who Richard dated. So did you talk to him about the, the real Terry at all? You know, Terry, for me, really was born on the page born from the script and 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 then when i was lucky to be cast as as terry then i got to start really shaping her through my own process and and then when we got to filming it was a collaboration between me and richard our two directors josephine and, and veronica even the intimacy coordinator the stunt coordinator the hair and makeup department we all poured ourselves and our ideas and our care into shaping Terry is. And, and to me, that's the character that ended up on screen. Hmm. Are you someone, um, when you take on roles, like do you create a backstory for your character for you play? Or I, is it just like whatever's yeah. on the page? I, I know I've seen some act actors who do a full life story you know like a uh i think like a bible <laughs> yes i think sydney sweeney talks about writing an entire journal a full you know i really deeply admire that and and uh, want to to do that and i think for me in this process it was more about cobbling together different kinds of of, of backstory and preparation so i there was just little things like i decided that for me, in my portrayal, you know, she had grown up in Connecticut because I was trying to figure out, like, how did she get to England? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's American. She's been there kind of a while. Like, I was I was trying to really understand that part of the story and, and how she ended up in this world and, and, and with these characters around her. So, yeah, I decided she went to Connecticut and she went to Yale and then she mm. went to <laughs> so it's just kind of you know that's I, I mean she is smart like he said so or you know and um yeah I, 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 that that was how it started to kind of make sense to me that she she really found her way through through that kind of uh, vocational path so, mm. yeah. so so like work took her to London yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She also feels like just someone who's adventurous anyway. Like maybe she was just like want to take a, a a trip to London and then just like ends up staying there and finding work there. <laughs> that well, right? Because it had to be that she liked it. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Like, because I had never been to the UK before. I had never mm -hmm. been to London, uh, and and so it just I had to figure out how it just made sense so that I, when we were actually filming, I wasn't having to figure that out. You know, right. Um, I also read that you you kind of manifested working in in London. 
and then you got this job it's this is like this is now just taken off I guess this like, narrative <laughs> yeah I don't know sometimes I'll be saying stuff and I just I don't know it's just um yeah I was I just remember saying that um like I was in a time of auditioning a lot and wasn't sure what I was going to do next and um and I just I said to my friend like you know I want to go work in London for six months on a project <laughs> uh, and then it happened so you know your words have power I, I really am trying to 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 understand that and and um, embrace that maybe that's what Terry did too it's like yes I want a did. job in London yeah and she found it <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> yeah. Um, did, did you uh, infuse any like personal experience into Terry or was that, do you want to keep it a little bit more separate? You know, I think the personal, it became like a river mm -hmm. flowing out of me into Terry. Um, and for me, it was more about figuring out how to kind of direct the flow of that water, like, <laughs> Um, it can't because it, it, she's not me, you know. Terry is not me, and she should not be me. And and um, and I uh, that was where the work was to kind of find the differentiating uh, pieces of, of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Terry is in a, a very harrowing fight scene with um Jessica's character Martha. Um. You know she's enduring some racist and transphobic remarks, and uh, she gets attacked and. What what was it like filming that whole sequence, um, and and working with the court the intimacy coordinator and everything for that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I remember when I was preparing for the attack scene, I was really concerned that I would not be able to get to the emotional place because the script was very clear um, about the devastation that it had on Terry. It was really like that moment, like is when we see her break. Um, and I was nervous about it. So I was working really hard to prepare. And, um, and I remember my acting coach said, actually, you just need to let yourself go on that ride on the day. It's just, it's going to take you there if you let it. Um, and so it kind of became more about focusing on the technical um, and uh, the the stunt training was so much fun. We worked with the stunt coordinator, Glenn Marks, and that was the day that I met Jess. Mm -hmm. And um, I had never done that before. I had never done stunt training before. Um, and in some ways, because it was so new and my first time, I think then when we filmed it, it, it just felt so raw. I, like I really was experiencing that for the first time, you know? Um, and so and so then separately for the emotional piece, I, I just had little note cards to remind me of of where I needed to be and, and and it just it just let me go mm -hmm. I, I feel like when you have such a big um I guess for lack of a better word like set piece like that I think it, you, you could tend to like focus on that and even as a viewer too but then we also see like the aftermath and how it affects Terry so how did you approach that like the aftermath and we see the impact of this violence on her mm. I had to kind of work out the the logic like all the thought patterns um, because I'm gonna be honest, I, if somebody said that I looked like a man, it wouldn't really take me down like that. You know, I think that was something I discovered that was different between me and Terry, that she hadn't necessarily healed whatever wound that was. Um, and so I had to kind of build that out. Um, because it, it's clear in 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 that episode that we see her kind of fall to the bottom of of, of her depression that that really rattled her um in addition to the physical violence um and the the racist and xenophobic language um so that was a big piece of it and um and then 
it was also the depression. <laughs> it was like that is a that is a physical state, you know. Um, and so I had to just be kind of in that um, on the days that we were filming. Uh, one day I will be the kind of actor that can really just. <laughs> at a moment's notice be so depressed and 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 really embody that depth but um like on those days I was like okay let me really really uh keep it together here um so I tried my best I I would say you're there yeah so <laughs> okay. okay great <laughs> um I I mean it was a great performance um I I love that uh Terry she has the the happiest ending of the characters. Uh, she has a new boyfriend. She's moved on with her life. She's she's doing great. I I wanted more Terry in the finale, honestly. Uh, but how did you feel about how things resolved? Uh, for uh, between Terry and and Donnie, you know they they broke up obviously, and then seeing her move on and you know have a new boyfriend. Yeah, I I think that it is so beautiful that we get to see Donnie, Donnie's continued process after they break up. Um, it's not like she's gone and then she's gone from his heart. You know, there's there's a process there and, and we see that in, in the scene where, where his character, where Donnie breaks down on stage. Um, and for me, I've, I've said this that I did get to have my side of that closure because there was a, a voicemail that was written in the script that I actually got to perform um, that Terry leaves for Donnie after the viral video comes out. Um, and and so for me... You, you have the closure from that. <laughs> I have it and... and um, and so that's my that's my relationship to to, to that story. Mm -hmm, sure. Um, well, lastly, you know the the show has uh, struck such a chord with everyone. You have know, just like general public fans. You have Cardi B and Stephen King <laughs> standing the show. Um, but what do you hope people take from the show after watching it? Hmm. I hope that people take whatever they need to take from the show. There's so much that it explores and questions and uncovers that it's up it's up to everybody to kind of decide what they want to do with it, you know? Um I think that's the beauty of of a story is that at some point it, it can belong to the world. And it's beautiful to to witness that happening. Uh, well, Nava, it was great speaking with you. Thanks so much for your time and congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.